In a quiet village nestled deep in the mountains, far from the distractions of the world, there lived a humble monk. The village had no riches, no grandeur, and yet its simplicity made it a haven of peace. This village was known not for its external beauty but for the wisdom that flowed through its air, a wisdom that seemed to be embedded in the rocks, the trees, and the soft murmur of the stream that cut through it. At the heart of the village was an ancient temple that was home to a group of monks who devoted their lives to the practice of Zen and Buddhist teachings. Among them, the elder monk stood out as a beacon of knowledge and enlightenment. His wisdom was renowned, not because of his extraordinary achievements, but because of his deep understanding of humility and open-mindedness. People would come from far and wide to seek his guidance, and he would welcome them with a gentle smile, offering them tea and speaking in a tone so soft and serene that it seemed to resonate with the very essence of the universe. One morning, as the mist slowly began to lift from the valley, a traveler arrived at the village. He was young, ambitious, and proud. The traveler had spent years studying philosophy and meditation across distant lands, accumulating knowledge that filled his mind with pride. He believed that he understood the world and that he could unravel the mysteries of life with ease. The traveler had heard tales of the elder monk's wisdom and, confident in his own knowledge, set out to meet him. His intention was not to learn but to challenge, to debate, and perhaps to demonstrate his superior understanding. Lesson 1, Humility in Knowledge, the traveler approached the temple with a stride full of confidence. The elder monk sat quietly on the temple steps, his eyes half-closed, absorbed in the present moment. The traveler bowed, though with a hint of arrogance, and introduced himself. I have come to test your wisdom, the traveler said, his voice filled with a certainty that could not be mistaken. I have traveled far and wide, studied under many teachers, and have acquired much knowledge. I wish to debate with you, to see if your wisdom is as deep as they say, the elder monk smiled warmly and invited the traveler inside the temple. The two sat across from each other on the floor, the elder monk's calm demeanor contrasting sharply with the traveler's eagerness. After a moment of silence, the monk began to pour tea into two cups, offering one to the traveler. Before we begin, let us have tea, the elder monk said gently. The traveler accepted the cup, but before he could drink, the elder monk continued to pour. Soon, the tea began to overflow from the cup, spilling onto the floor. The traveler, confused and slightly annoyed, spoke up, stop. The cup is full. No more can go in, the elder monk stopped pouring and looked into the traveler's eyes. Exactly, he said softly. Like this cup, you are full of your own ideas and knowledge. How can you learn anything new unless you first empty your cup?" The traveler's face flushed with embarrassment. And in that moment, he realized the weight of his arrogance. His pride had closed him off to new wisdom. He bowed his head, humbled by the simple yet profound lesson. From that moment, he vowed to approach every situation with an empty cup, ready to learn rather than to prove his knowledge. This was the first lesson, true knowledge begins with humility. No matter how much one knows, there is always more to learn. A mind filled with pride is like a closed door, nothing new can enter. Lesson 2, The Power of Letting Go, Days Passed, and the Traveler Remained at the Temple, Eager to Absorb the Wisdom that Seemed to Permeate the Air Around the Elder Monk. One Morning, the monk invited the traveler on a walk through the forest. As they walked, the elder monk remained silent, observing the natural beauty around him, while the traveler fidgeted with impatience, 
waiting for some profound teaching to emerge. After a time, they reached a riverbank where a large stone bridge spanned the flowing water. The elder monk paused and motioned for the traveler to sit with him, look at the river, the monk said, pointing to the water as it rushed over the rocks and around the bends of the riverbed. What do you see? The traveler gazed at the water, thinking deeply. I see the flow of life, he replied. The river moves forward, unstoppable, overcoming every obstacle in its path, the elder monk nodded. Yes, but notice how the river does not cling to the rocks. It flows effortlessly, letting go of whatever stands in its way. It moves without attachment, and yet it still reaches its destination. The traveler furrowed his brow. What does this have to do with wisdom? The elder monk turned to him with a gentle smile. In life, we often hold on to things, ideas, possessions, relationships, beliefs, that weigh us down. We become attached to them, thinking that they define us or that we cannot be happy without them. But like the river, true wisdom lies in learning to let go. By letting go of our attachments, we free ourselves to move forward, unburdened by the past, the traveler's mind began to race. He thought of all the things he had clung to in his life, the accolades, the admiration of others, even his own sense of self-worth. He realized that these attachments had often held him back. Causing him anxiety and suffering, how do I let go? The traveler asked, his voice filled with genuine curiosity. The elder monk closed his eyes and took a deep breath. Letting go is not about abandoning everything you hold dear. It is about recognizing that everything in life is impermanent. When we understand this, we can experience life fully without being weighed down by fear or desire. We can appreciate the beauty of the moment without trying to possess it, the traveler sat in silence, contemplating the monk's words. He realized that his journey toward wisdom would require him to release his attachments, to allow the flow of life to guide him without resistance. This was the second lesson, the power of letting go. Only by releasing attachment can one truly experience freedom and peace. Lesson 3, The Openness of the Beginner's Mind, As the Weeks Passed, the traveler grew increasingly fond of his time at the temple. His mind, once filled with pride, had begun to soften, opening up to new experiences and perspectives. One day, the elder monk asked the traveler to join him in the temple's garden for a task. The garden was a place of serenity, filled with vibrant flowers, towering trees, and the soothing sound of a small waterfall. The elder monk handed the traveler a rake and asked him to help tend to the sand garden, where intricate patterns were drawn in the sand to represent the flow of life. The traveler had seen the monks tend to the sand garden many times before and believed he understood the task well. With a sense of confidence, he began to rake, carefully trying to recreate the patterns he had observed. The elder monk watched quietly before approaching the traveler. Tell me, he said, how do you approach this task? The traveler paused, uncertain of how to answer. I try to mimic the patterns that I have seen, he replied. I want the garden to look perfect, the elder monk smiled softly. The garden is not about perfection. It is about presence. Each moment is unique, and each pattern in the sand reflects the state of your mind. If you approach the task with a beginner's mind, open and free from expectations, you will find that the patterns you create are a reflection of your true self in that moment. The traveler furrowed his brow in confusion. But I have experience. I have watched the others and studied their methods. Shouldn't I use that knowledge? The elder monk shook his head gently. 
Knowledge is useful, but it can also blind us. The beginner's mind is a mind that is open to all possibilities, free from preconceptions and judgments. When we approach life with a beginner's mind, we remain curious, willing to learn, and open to the unexpected. In this way, we are able to see the world as it truly is, rather than through the lens of our assumptions. The traveler took a deep breath and began to rake the garden again, this time allowing himself to be guided by the present moment rather than by his desire for perfection. As he moved the rake through the sand, he felt a sense of peace wash over him, and the patterns that emerged were unlike anything he had seen before. They were a reflection of his true self, unburdened by the need to be right or to achieve. This was the third lesson, the openness of the beginner's mind. In approaching life with curiosity and openness, one can experience the world with fresh eyes, free from the limitations of past knowledge and expectations. Lesson 4, The Strength in Vulnerability, As the traveler continued his journey of learning, he found himself confronting deeper aspects of his own character. One day, the elder monk asked him to accompany him to a nearby village to assist with the rebuilding of a home that had been destroyed in a storm, the traveler, eager to be of service, agreed without hesitation. When they arrived at the village, they were met by a group of villagers who were already hard at work. The traveler noticed that some of the tasks were unfamiliar to him, and though he was willing to help, he felt unsure of how to proceed. One of the villagers approached him and offered to show him how to repair the roof. The traveler hesitated for a moment, his pride whispering that he should not reveal his lack of knowledge. But then he remembered the lessons he had learned at the temple, the importance of humility, the power of letting go, and the openness of the beginner's mind. Swallowing his pride, the traveler nodded and allowed the villager to show him the proper technique. As they worked together, the traveler realized that by admitting his vulnerability and allowing himself to learn from others, he not only became more capable but also built a deeper connection with those around him. The sense of camaraderie and shared purpose filled him with a new understanding, vulnerability was not a weakness but a strength. It opened the door to growth, connection, and the discovery of inner resilience. This was the fourth lesson, the strength in vulnerability. By embracing vulnerability, one gains the courage to ask for help, to learn from others, and to grow in ways that would be impossible through pride alone. The traveler spent many months at the temple, each day revealing new layers of wisdom and understanding. He had arrived full of pride and certainty, but through his experiences, he learned the value of humility, the power of letting go, the openness of the beginner's mind, and the strength found in vulnerability. One morning, as he sat with the elder monk sipping tea, the traveler felt a deep sense of peace. The journey had transformed him, not through grand revelations or intellectual debates, but through the quiet, simple lessons that life itself had offered. The elder monk smiled knowingly at the traveler. True wisdom is not found in the answers we seek but in the humility to keep asking questions and the openness to learn from every experience. The traveler bowed deeply, not as a gesture of deference, but as a reflection of the gratitude he felt for the journey that had brought him to this place of peace. He realized now that wisdom was not a destination but a lifelong path, one that required an open heart, an empty cup, and a willingness to be vulnerable. With this newfound understanding, the traveler continued his journey, not with the goal of proving his knowledge but with a heart ready to embrace the lessons that life had yet to reveal. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, 
feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.